Fun isn't something one considers when trying on new laptops. But this <laughs> does put a smile on my face. Anyways, back to my normal voice. When Acer announced its trio of Avengers Infinity War Edition laptops, I being a fan was super excited to check out Earth's mightiest laptops. And well, we have them here. So let's assemble the Avengers Infinity War Edition Acer laptops. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and today I am super excited to show you the new Infinity War Special Edition laptops from Acer. Before we assemble the Avengers, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now then, let's take a look at the Special Edition laptops. Right then, these here are the three Avengers Edition laptops. As you can see, all of these laptops come in custom style black boxes which look super cool. But the coolness does not stop there. Just open these boxes and you will see the true power of the uh, uh, wrong movie. The 3D Marvel logo which just looks awesome. I mean, look at it. I know it looks amazing. But that's not what we are here to look at. We are here to check out these laptops. So let's start off with the Iron Man Edition laptop. Well, here it is in all its glory. Just like the new Iron Man suit in Infinity War, the laptop here has a red and gold glossy finish which looks super cool. But by far the coolest thing on this laptop is the light up arc reactor. Unfortunately, it does not power the laptop, but hey, it's cool, so feast your eyes. And even inside, when you open the laptop, it's red all over with nice little gold accents that scream over the top, just like Iron Man's suit. I'm not a fan of the Intel and Nvidia stickers on the bottom bezel in the display, but I'm a fan of the Marvel sticker, which looks really nice. Also, since it's an Iron Man laptop, it has to be high-tech and well, this here is the Acer Swift 3, which packs in an 8th Gen Core i5 CPU, 8 GB of RAM, 256 GB SSD and 2 gigs of MX150 graphics. It doesn't have Jarvis or Friday, but there's Cortana and you know, she is nowhere close. Anyways, moving on to the Captain America edition laptop, it too comes in a look that is distinctively Captain America. I mean the new Captain America with his new shield and his whole nomad thing with the blue shade and the star logo. Just like our captain, this laptop here isn't too over the top. It's, it's functional and it just looks cool with its silver accents on blue. I also like the design on the trackpad which again is very Captain America-ish. There's also the Avengers logo on the palm rest because after all he is the captain so he gets the logo. The Captain America laptop is the Acer Aspire 6 which packs in the 8th Gen Core i5 chip. 4 gigs of RAM, MX150 graphics and 1TB HDD. I know it seems underwhelming when compared to the Iron Man laptop, but not everyone can stop Thanos with his bare hands. Oh, that was awesome. Lastly, let's talk about the Mad Titan Thanos. Because hey, dread it, run from it, destiny still arrives. I've just always wanted to say that. Anyway, this here is the Thanos edition laptop and just like Thanos in Infinity War, this one's a beast. From the outside, the Thanos Edition laptop does not really scream Thanos. I mean, there is Thanos, obviously, but it's very understated. And if you're wondering what's the weird golden thingy here, well, according to Acer, it's the gold hue of his infinity gauntlet splashed along the cover. Well, that makes no sense. Anyways, when you open the lid, you will find Thanos' so-called children, the Black Order guys, including Corvus Glaive, Black Dwarf, who is not a dwarf, in fact, he's huge the lovely Proxima Midnight and not so lovely Ebony Maw. There's no Infinity Gauntlet here or the Infinity Stones to balance the universe in a snap, but the Acer Nitro 5 Thanos Edition is the most powerful of the laptops here. It's got the 7th Gen Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 128GB SSD with a 1TB HDD and the decently powerful Nvidia GTX 1050 graphics card. So yes, the Thanos Edition laptop is pretty powerful and that's without the Infinity Stones. But that's not everything about these special edition laptops. As you must have already seen, all of these come with one special edition wallpaper. The Iron Man laptop obviously comes with a really cool Iron Man wallpaper. 
the Captain America laptop comes with the cap and the Avengers logo wallpaper. And the Thanos edition laptop features a wallpaper of Thanos with his children. It does not feature his daughters Gamora and Nebula which kind of makes me sad. Anyway that's pretty much everything. There's one wallpaper, no theme or any other customization but hey, I still like these laptops. But what about the price? Well the Iron Man edition Swift 3 goes for Rs 80,000 and at that price the laptop brings in decent specs like the 256 GB SSD, the MX150 graphics and the 8 gen processor. Plus it's sleek and nice. Then there's the Captain America Aspire 6 priced at Rs 64,000 which I think is quite pricey considering it does not pack an SSD and only has 4 gigs of RAM. If you're thinking about the regular variants of the same Swift 3 and Aspire 6, well, they aren't available in India. Lastly, there's the Thanos Edition Nitro 5 at Rs 81,000, which is a decent gaming laptop packing in an SSD along with GTX 1050 graphics. But you can get the same Nitro 5 with the 1050 Ti at around Rs 73,000. So I'll recommend you to buy the Thanos Edition Nitro 5 only if you're a big fan of Thanos and his agenda of balancing the universe. Honestly, if you're a huge fan of the Avengers and you've always wanted a special edition Avengers laptop, the Iron Man edition laptop and even the Thanos edition laptops are good bets. Sorry Cap. Well, those were the Avengers Infinity War edition laptops from Acer. And I'm sure you want to keep staring at them, but unfortunately, the end is near. Anyway, I have watched the movie and I loved it. And I certainly like these laptops here. But what do you think? Have you watched the movie yet? Tell us in the comment section below. And hey, no spoilers please. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you are an Avengers fan and share it with your friends too. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. And that is if you're alive.